Welcome back to Tommy Big Time. Today I've got an Invicta Reserve Leviathan. This is another one of my buddies watch. They're kind enough to uh, let me make videos with them. And so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change this battery. This one is uh, <clears throat> 52 millimeters at the case. Rose gold uh, bezel, all stainless steel. And this one has a Swiss Ronda 5040D movement. And this is a 20 millimeter stick, 26 millimeter wide bracelet, model 1958. This is a 5040D movement. And I'm not exactly sure which kind of battery it takes. So on some of these, you gotta take this plastic piece out first before you can get to the uh, battery. All styles and models and movements are different, so. This one has got one screw over the battery. Try to get the light right. So we're looking right here, the screw over this little battery cover here. And that's the screw right there. <clears throat> now I don't uh, do these videos first and make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm doing this pretty much live even though it's not. So uh, any surprises are a surprise for both of us. And this is a 395 Renata. Put that in a dead box. Get a new one. We're doing 395 again. That's my most common battery. I don't know. Most chronograph Invictas that are in a big size. This is a battery they, they use.
Okay, I've got it on. Now, just so you can understand just how small this screw is. Can you see it there on the tip of the pick? Little tiny guy, look at that thing. And I'm six foot three. I don't have little hands by no means. So uh, this is my biggest obstacle with working on watches is uh, these little tiny screws, man. Alrighty. So get the plastic back in. Before I do that, you can see these cutouts for the chronograph, and that's for the uh, crown stem. You always want to make sure that is all lined up before you uh, start pushing this bad boy in, because once you push it in there and uh, it's not lined up. You're gonna bend the crown stem and that's no good. Forgot to check if it was ticking before I put it all back together, but yeah, we're good. Make sure she's nice and snug. Alrighty. Three o'clock is wherever she's taken. So one thing I noticed while I was uh, about to put the micro adjustment back on is that uh, the reserve hand is out of whack. You see that? So there it started. The chronograph feature. So stop. Reset. And it was way over there. So if... Um, you haven't learned it already, you pull the crown all the way out. Let me back this up a little bit. Hold both down for a second. There we go. Now, there goes the reserve hand. Now we're gonna bring it all the way around to the 12 o'clock.
Sorry, I'm moving so much. It's my hands moving because uh, my phone is on the tripod. So there we go. First one's lined up. Hit the bottom button. Now we adjust the next one. And that one was good. So we'll bring that back. So if you hold it down, it goes a lot faster. And there we go. Now push in the crown and you're good to go. Everything's back to normal. Let me test that for you. So let's start the stopwatch. Stop it. Reset. Bingo. We're good. So that's how you do that. Resetting your chronograph hands to make sure they're centered. So let's put the micro adjustment back in. All right, so I'm gonna give you some uh, detailed pictures here and a few. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's mainly all about Invicta, but uh, any kind of watch repair I'll get, I will put on my channel, whether I can fix it or I can't. And all I'm doing right now is putting the micro adjustment back in. And uh, if you like watches and uh, you're not rich, which I'm not, but I love watches and I really love Invicta. And you should enjoy this channel because uh, if you've got a decent sized collection and you're not confident in uh, changing your battery or uh, sizing your own watch, um, I try to make my, my videos as informational as I possibly can. I'm not a professional. I, this, is, this is a hobby. This is something I do for fun. And uh, I've always loved watches, so uh, it works out. But if uh, you want to learn, I can try to do my best to uh, show you what I know. And if you comment below, I'd be glad to uh, try to do something you need done. Now, as far as getting my hands on certain watches, um, like I said, I'm not a rich man, so I can't just go out and buy the watch that you're looking to uh, repair. I can't just go out and buy it and uh, do the repair. But... Um, if there's a similar model or something that I have that I can show you how to do it, I'll do my best. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Tommy Big Time. Subscribe. Enjoy the pictures to come. Have a great day and God bless.